and welcome to another playthrough of Mechanicus from 2018. This is Fort Pirate Steering Wheel and today we are at day 32 of this year's Necrovember! And then you might be wondering, what? wait, what? This is the beginning of Necrovember, why are you saying day 32? Well, I'm gonna explain to you. Uh, we started this campaign back in Mars in this year. And I never got to finish it, as you can see, we're only halfway through the percentage here. Uh, so we have a lot of missions left to do, we have still to do any of the bosses. Uh, so when Mars reached its final end, I decided, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break here, and then we might return to the game later, either the same year or we're gonna continue the year following this. But now we're here, and I decided, well, I'm gonna continue with day 42, and I, instead of saying day 1, uh, since we're still on the same campaign, I'm saying day 32, but we have reached Necrovember instead of Mac Mars Mechanicum's Mars Madness. So yeah, so today, uh, as I, if I remember correctly, in the previous mission we finished the last seal, we did that whole debacle, so now we're gonna be finishing off the boss fights, and the reason why is because I don't want to do them twice while we could then continue on with these missions and if we look here we have two missions left with him and we have zero missions with him so we might be at the end of his playthrough so we're gonna continue then with the him after this but yeah so we're gonna do the lord astronomer acropis sector the skitari have located the sarcophagus of lord acropis in his tomb Prime Hermeticon Capris request a high risk mission to be sent to destroy Acropis. So we're gonna get some worthless deal here. Oh, we could have uh, played uh, grading him though. Uh, there are some good. Uh, there are some good. Uh, what do you call it? Some good. Um, uh, loot in the other ones, but we're gonna go for the Lord Astronomer because that's the one I've decided and then we only have to face off Astro uh, Acropis Warriors and Immortals. So I think we can do that So we are gonna go with all our four of our boys We really need to get some more unlockables over here and I think for this mission I think we're gonna go for Skitari ranged uh, options Yes, that's what we're gonna go. Let's deploy. I had completely forgotten that you have to read out loud. I must apologize, this is recorded at a late, or not late, at a early evening on a Friday. I'm really tired. Uh, I've been working hard all week. Auto reporting routines added to the tech priest internal cogitators. Intelligence on high value targets critical. I hope we don't run into any high value targets. Experience dictates whatever these Xenos are, they aren't likely to welcome our intrusion into their ruins. <coughs> Yet we must be prepared for the eventuality, hence my bringing Prime Hermeticon Caprix on this mission. If there are still Xenos lifeforms, their destruction will likely form a principal objectives. Know the prey, find the prey, then hunt the commences. Oh yeah, she's the only one who appears during the boss fights, as now I remember. Skitaro operations in the tomb of Acropis have confirmed high value target location. They have found Acropis. Confirm location of the sarcophagus of Acropis. I return anticipation but also concern at this news, the chance to bring Acropis to battle is a valuable one, but one with great risk. Target profile indicates advanced combat capabilities and environmental advantage, seen as weaponry and awakening protocol level unknown. As the Magi per, 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 Pecunium describe it, high risk, high reward. 
My Skitari are holding a perimeter around the sarcophagus chamber, but they won't be able to do for so for long. The awakening protocols are accelerating in the tomb of Acropis. Target consciousness probable. I have modified mission parameters accordingly. Facing Acropis directly entails great risk, Subdomina, but I concur with Prime Hermeticon's assessment. Destroying Lord Acropis is worth the risk. Very well, Magus. If this works, it could make it seem the lives lost in the tomb of Acropis were not for nothing. Dispatch the co coursers, sharpen the spears, the hunt is on. Deployment number 31. Let's go! Alright, we have uh, glyphs. I have to get them. I'm so unprepared for this that I had forgotten that I put my glyphs away. And now uh, my eyes itches. Wait. Let's see here, getting back into business. Gonna lower the volume for me a little bit. Let's see, glyphs. We have three to go by here. The one on the left is... I haven't played this in a while, so I'm gonna get a bit ring rusty. The le that's this one's gonna bring us a uh, black stone. The one in the middle is gonna bring us a negative uh, CP, and the one on the right it's gonna be giving us. <coughs> Let's see if we can find that one. Oh yeah, it's gonna give us items. Do we want items or? Uh, Blackstone is the question. Personally, I think we're gonna go for Blackstone. For one, we know what what kind of things we will get. Two, we can spend more with the Blackstone. I don't think we need that much of an item, so we're gonna go for that. Especially when the items they proclaimed in this uh, before this video or this mission, they didn't seem that very appealing. All right, let's see here. We have to get all the way over there. It doesn't, ah, oh, it's just one long round. It's because they want uh, the tomb to be awakened once we get there. I imagine. Usually I think they, sh they should be reading this out loud because the Necron speaks out loud. Okay, what hate did the weak have for what we should do not know for they know it's not made by the strong. A synthesized voice echoes through the tomb of Acropis, transmitted directly through the comms unit of every trooper in the tomb. Uh, ignore. Uh, they got plus there, of course. Another glyph. Okay, the one on the left is gonna give us negative CP. I at the moment we don't have any, so it doesn't really matter. The one on the right. Mm. One on the right. 
can't find it. Well, either way, we have two options. We have already declared the one. This one is negative. So I think we're going to go for this one. Hope for the... Oh, no. This is going to give them more initiative. Uh, we don't want that. So we're going to go for this one because it's gonna not going to affect us. As I see, we don't, it didn't affect us at all. So we have to think smart because we don't want them to be fully awakened when we get there. Or too much awakened, that is. Yeah, this is just form, so they were gonna be fully, fully fledged necros when we get there. We are not welcome here. This is not our world. The Lord of the Necrons own this world, and soon uh, they will all own all others. It is our duty to obey them. Ah, and here we have some continuity errors because he's dead. <laughs> he's he's dead. <laughs> A rare direct communication from the the Cenos. It's it's as as disquieting as it is exciting. There may be much to learn, Magus, but take the greatest care. And then she just whispers, worms its way through the news where infecting the awareness of everyone connected to it. It appears as uh, as an incepted thought of the minds of everyone in two microbes at once. Um, I think we're gonna analyze. Fascinating. Necrons equal adaptive Xenos. If Necron plus Imperial Tech equal alter variation, evolved thought processes, then Mechanicus plus Necron Tech may hold the same answer. Yes, we chose the wrong, right one. Jesus, this is definitely going to be a boss fight, that's for sure. This chamber contains several empty sarcophagi, some of which seem to have malfunctioned and show signs of having exploded or caught fire during the awakening process. Any destroyed Necrons have teleported away, but there may still be intelligence to be gleaned from these damaged devices. Let's loot. Worth it. Extra necklace in battle. The heretical galactic model of Acropis, take care Magos, the chances of blasphemous content being pres present approach 100%. Uh, infection issues, we need uh, the cartridges of the case that to make sense of. Uh, attempt to co corrupt the data with embedded data worms in information boxes in the hope it will destroy this blasphemy forever. Run the data through the ship's cogitators. Understanding Acropolis' galactic view may be useful in hiding the Necrons. Uh, purge the data for the newsware, whatever insight. Uh, let's go for this one. Ah, crap. I chose the wrong one. Continue. There it is, the sarcophagus of Acropis looks like he sees himself as the center of the universe. Oh yeah, now they're talking. Thrones of Mars, what was that? You know what it is. You have always known. Did you think it should not come to this? You, whose existence is war, whose first terror is peace. Did you think you would destroy us 
Target awareness confirmed, awakening complete, code Evenator in effect, eliminating high value target with extreme prejudice. Initiative. I think this one is gonna give us CP. This one might uh, do something to him. I think we're gonna do it for this. Ah, oh, it gave us nothing. It gave us nothing! Kill Lord Ecrepis. Oh. Oh, trying to. Ah! Come on. Alright, let's see here. Um, place you there. You there. You there. And you there. Commence battle operations. So eliminate and kill Lord Acropis. And let's lead yours. First of all, we definitely need more uh, uh, points. Fire, main cannon. Oh, you covered. Uh, how much it cost? I certainly want to uh, click this then. I think we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go for a burning him. Oh, you're too far away. God damn it. Uh... Alright, let's uh... so refill it then. Now, burn! Might as well go and poke him then. Fight! Six damage, critical. Heals, uh, stick. And then I think we're gonna fall back. Alright, I starting to remember now so that his stick is that he's gonna teleport around and we need to kill the troopers first before we're gonna hit him. Now I'm starting to realize how this works.
fire main can. Okay, so they're all gonna swap them. <clears throat> That's fine because I would rather shoot you than the warrior if I'm gonna be completely honest. <clears throat> Zero damage absorbed. Let's go and uh, poke a doodle him then. Smack him down. And then poke. Fall back. Let's go and uh, reveal his stats so we know what we're dealing with here. 49. Oh, and one damage even. Uh, I think we can uh, we can do this. Fire. Let's go and smack him down. Two damage. And then fall back. I'm gonna wait with refilling it with him. We're gonna let the other guy do it first. And then we're gonna activate some uh, Skitari after this. Fire! Almost dead then. Oh, we was too far away. I thought we were just in uh, the right amount of length there. And then we're gonna go and smack him up. And then fall back over here. And refill the gouge. Let's activate some Skitari. I think basically over there, and then. Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna be doing good there. Still burning, still burning. How much health is it left on him? Three. I think we can perhaps kill him this turn. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Fire, fire burning, fire is burning. Kill him. Strong. 
Strike him down. Felt good. Let's poke him down. All back. You have a long range. But I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna go kill them. And then the next per the next priest is gonna go for the, the, the lord over there. Fire! Out of range. Fire! Yes, I think he's gonna go for the smack around. So the Epicropis can't uh, teleport away. This now is ours. Then we're gonna heal ourselves. And then we're gonna walk as far as possible. And then we're gonna refill the gorge. So he can use all his uh, abilities when it's his turn. One damage. One damage. Strike him down. Oh, eight damage. That's good. And then poke him away. Fall back. The question is how far are we gonna fall back? Ah oh. Let's fall this far. We're not gonna use that yet, but we are gonna use this. One damage. Two Nikon Warriors, that's not too dangerous. Can we shoot him here? Yes, we can. So first of all, we're gonna nullify him. You will not strike anyone in the next turn. Hold out, Skitari. We're gonna save him. Fire! Fire again! Do you really wanna do this, warrior? Poke a doodle. Let 
then we're gonna save our uh, friend here. He he's only have a couple of damage, but it's fine. Let's heal him up. Oh, it was just one? Well, it was worth it. It's gonna cool down eventually. Okay, here we can shoot him, so I think we're gonna go for that. Fire, main cannon. Oh, he's almost dead now. Well, press the assault. Fire! Uh, either reveal or get so we can burn him. I think we're gonna go for burning. Burning, burning, it's a burning. Eight damage. And now we can't move because we have no points left. And you barely have any points either. Start by uh, healing ourselves. Let's see here. I think we can start by shooting. If we're lucky, perhaps we can kill him in this turn. Yeah, we can definitely kill him. But we need some more cognition point. Refill! Sure, we're not gonna get some of the bonuses for that, but uh, who cares? I just wanna kill him. You have lived long enough! Target eliminated. Mission complete! The heavily armed war form of Lord Astromener collapses, spewing sparks and flames. Its gauze coils ruptured for a moment. It seems raw data is bleeding from the stricken Necron. Images of distant alien stars flicker through the newsphere, accompanied by millions of years of stellar migrations and galactic orbits. Then Acropis is still and cold, and the Lord Astromener of Silver Tenebris is destroyed. Target eliminated. The Skitari reported a reduction in the coordination of Necro units in the tomb already. A moral and strategic success. Prime Hermeti Hermeticon. Self congratulation is illogical. High value targets remain. Nevertheless, Capricx, a blow has been struck against the Xenos. I have the capacity to grant myself a moment of celebration from my quarantined emotional vaults. Perhaps you would benefit from the same. No celebration, no pause, the hunt never off, always on. Raised a lot of the points there though. Well, uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you much for watching this. See you around everybody. Bye bye.